McLaren know how to develop a driver, whether it's a, an actual driver or whether it's a sim driver. We have all the data from previous years and I'm able to compare my data and look at areas where I need to improve as a driver. Hey, Hello, how are you? Oh, dude. I think McLaren can help a gamer progress a lot because the simulator is very professional in terms of the feeling and physics it has. You know, at home you can you kind of do it more for fun. Whereas here it's a job basically and you have to do certain things and meet certain criteria for the engineers to rely on you. You go from free practice into qualifying um, and if it's wet and then dry, the simulator is the best thing to prepare for that qualifying session. You can do all these tests to make sure when they go into qualifying, they're as prepared as they can be. To be very consistent, your feedback needs to be very good. Physically, you need to be fit. Some people don't really realise how hard and physical it is to, to drive a Formula 1 sim car. Mentally, it's quite straining, concentrating for several hours. Sometimes you have to start very early in the morning. Your feedback needs to be very good. It needs to be accurate and, and precise. You need to be very good at reading telemetry, knowing how to uh, compare yourself to other drivers. You need to be able to develop and improve yourself as a driver. Finally, what you need to be very good at is able to develop the car itself. You need to know what you have in the car and what can help you because you don't have the most amount of time to feedback things between sessions. It's rare that you get the opportunity to come to a place like this, um, meet the people that are behind the scenes of, of a Formula One team um, and hopefully one day you'll work with them in the future.